Welcome on in. This is your chapter master, or is it channel master? Either way, it doesn't matter. Spruce and studs. And today we are going to be taking a look at size comparison 3.0. Dear God, people, on the Gilman review video, you're like, oh, Spruce has definitely forgot about the size comparison between him and the other Marines. Well, no, I did not forget to actually do a size comparison. For my review videos, I always focus in on the figure at hand. And obviously, if there is a similarity between two figures, I will actually compare the two figures together, such as the Bear's Revenge Emperor's Champion versus the Generic Emperor's Champion, for example. And that being said, I always feature size comparison videos as a separate video for my review videos. So, you guys are now getting what you want. Now, just to begin, just to temper all your expectations, I'm not going to be doing a size comparison between all the action figures that have ever been released by Joy Toy or McFarlane or Bandai. Today, we are going to be focusing specifically on the units of the Imperium. And again, I'm not going to be going through every single one of those units of the Imperium. So without further ado, Let's jump right on in. All right, folks, we will be starting off this review of the size comparison between the forces of the Imperium with a regular human being. But you really can't call this a regular human being because she is battle hardened. She is faithful and she is powerful. So we shall now put in the sister of battle right here in front of the camera and she comes in at a quote-unquote diminutive four inches in size and now next to her we shall deploy the next regular human being well you can't call him a regular human being because he is special forces he is badass he is a specialized trained killing machine so we're next we shall put the Tempestus Scion next to the Sister of Battle. And he comes in at a height of four and one eighth inches. Now, folks, is the moment that we've been waiting for. The new transhumans of the whole entire Imperial lineup, the Emperor's Finest, a Raven Guard Primaris Space Marine, will now be put next to his regular human brethren. So this Raven Guard comes in at four and five eighths inches. So he stands quite a little bit taller than his regular human beings. However, we have yet another Primaris figure that we need to reveal, and that is the Primaris Aggressor that is in Gravis armor. And from foot to the top of the helmet and not the Aggressor hood, this guy stands in at four and three quarters inches. And now moving on from the regular power suited Space Marine armor, we will move on to the Aegis Pattern Terminator, AKA the Grey Knights. And this lovely Grey Knight stands in at five and one eighth inches. And who can forget about the Indominus Pattern Terminator, which happens to be my favorite Terminator pattern. And the example of that is going to be your Blood Angels Assault Terminator. And this particular bad boy is not exactly that much higher compared to the Aegis pattern, but there is a size difference in that this Indominus pattern stands it in five and one quarter inches. And now we're going to zoom even further out because we're going to have to include the Emperor's finest, finest, finest. And now I shall bring you the Adeptus Custodes Alaris Terminator. And he stands in at five and a half inches tall. And speaking of Emperor's Gene Seed, this particular quote-unquote generic transhuman is the tallest one of all of these action figures. And who am I talking about? The biggest blueberry of them all, Robute Gilliman. Now, Robute Gilliman stands in at a very robust seven inches tall. So he actually stands in at three inches taller than the regular Sisters of Battle. And you can see the enormous size difference once you zoom out like we have right now. So now, folks, 
there is really nothing to do but start injecting some different kinds of war engines in the midst of all of these human beings. And the first war engine that we will introduce is the Sister of Battle Paragon Warsuit. And I know that you cannot see the difference very well on this one, but I will tell you that this Paragon Warsuit stands in at six and three quarters inches. So can you believe that Gilliman actually still stands taller than this particular war suit. That is absolutely nuts in my opinion. So we will now push out some of the regular Space Marines so we can start putting in some more massive engines of war, starting off with the Furioso Dreadnought. So the Furioso Dreadnought from the bottom of the feet all the way to the top of the armor, I am not including the smoke launchers, stands in at seven and three eighths inches. So stands about three eighths of an inch taller than Gilliman. But if you look at it, they almost seem like they are the same size, which is absolutely insane. Once again, how tall Gilliman is. Next, we will move on to the Primaris version of the Dreadnought, which happens to be the Redemptor Dreadnought. And this thing will tower over every single one of these action figures, hands down. And this Redemptor Dreadnought stands in at a whopping 11 inches, which is completely massive compared to all the rest of the action figures that are displayed here. And the only other action figure that matches the size of the Redemptor Dreadnought is actually the Invictor Tactical Warsuit. And the Invictor Tactical Warsuit stands in at the same height as the Redemptor Dreadnought, which is 11 inches. So I will actually now compare the shortest member of the Imperium to the largest member of the Imperium so that you can get a better size and scale of what's going on over here. So here, standing at barely above knee level, is the Sister of Battle, which happens to be the shortest one at 4 inches tall, compared to the Redemptor Dreadnought, which is 11 inches tall. So you can see the vast size and scale difference between all the various units of the Imperium. And this is the quick size comparison between the Sister of Battle as well as Gilliman. And you can see that the Sister of Battle barely comes up to his waste regions. Everybody wants to know exactly the height of the special characters. So now we will dive into all the special characters that I have currently. I know that as of filming of this video, Shrike as well as Hellbreck just got released, but I don't have them in my possession yet. So every single special character that has been released beforehand, I do have. So let's start right now. So starting in at a diminutive 4.5 inches, we have Castellan Crow at the very far left edge. Joining Crow on the left hand side will also be a figure that matches the size of Crow, which is Corsar Khan. And Khan also stands in at 4.5 inches. And the next action figure that is next in size will be Tor Garadon. And Tor stands in at four and three quarters inches. And the next bunch of figures after Tor will actually be the same size at five inches. And the first one from head to toe and not head to top knot is Ragnar Blackmane. He is also at five inches tall. The next one is Voldus. He is actually also five inches tall from the top of head down to his toes. And standing in at slightly taller than Volus, we have Marnius Kalgar. And Marnius Kalgar stands in at five and one eighth inches. And don't forget, we actually have a regular quote unquote human being special character that will be standing in amongst all these space marines, which happens to be Celestine. She stands in at four and one eighth inches. And once again, we're going to have to toss our lovely first loyalist Primarch in amongst the mist. And we already know that he stands in at seven inches. So just to give you a little taste and flavor of how tall he is in amongst all these special characters, I'll put him on the left hand side. And that gives you a taste. And finally, the tallest one of them all, which happens to be Bjorn the Fell-Handed, 
stands in at the same height as the Furioso Dreadnought, which is seven and three eighths inches. And there we go. We have the complete size comparison of all the special characters of the Imperium. So now let's wrap this one up. So what did you all think about the size comparison 3.0 video? Let me know in the comments section below and let me know exactly what units that you want to see in the next size comparison video. I have a feeling that I'm going to be missing a lot of your favorite units. I'm sorry, because again, there are so many units that I can't fit all of them in one entire video because you probably are all going to pass out because you're so bored or it's just going to be rambling on. But either way, thank you so much, members of the chapter, of supporting this channel. I appreciate all the comments that you leave in the comments section and your view hours because it helps the channel very, very much. And for all those people who are unsubscribed, if these comparison type videos are your thing and if you want in-depth action figure reviews and look no further hit that subscribe button this is the channel and the definite place to be at so once again thank you for your viewership i appreciate you all and i'll see you all in the next one